Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and today we are going to look at the integral that you need to know before the new semester. So let me show you the steps that we take to solve this integral right now. First, let i equal this integral. It looks kind of difficult, but it's not so bad because we can just do the so-called u substitution. Okay, let's go ahead and let u equals pi over 2 minus x, which means u is just a complementary angle of x. We know that sine of a complementary angle is just going to be cosine, and similarly, cosine of a complementary angle is going to be sine. Right, keep that in mind, that's what we will use later. So x equals pi over 2 minus u. Once we do the substitution, we will have to differentiate both sides. So we get du equals d negative x. Notice that x goes from 0 to pi over 2. So when x equals 0, u equals pi over 2 minus 0, which equals pi over 2. And when x equals pi over 2, u equals pi over 2 minus pi over 2, which equals 0. OK, now everything is ready. Let's start the substitution and take the integral to the u world. It equals integral from pi over 2 to 0. The numerator equals e to the sine of pi over 2 minus u. And the denominator equals e to the sine of pi over 2 minus u plus e to the cosine of pi over 2 minus u d negative u. And remember that pi over 2 minus u is the complementary angle of u as we discussed just now. So sine of pi over 2 minus u equals cosine u. And cosine of pi over 2 minus u equals sine u. And as for the negative u, the negative sign can be cancelled as long as we change the position of pi over 2 and 0. Great! Now we have successfully taken the integral from the x world to the u world. This part is extremely important. It tells you which world we are in. And we can see i equals both the integral in the x world and equals the integral in the u world. Right? It's very interesting. For now, we have made a progress, but there is still something to do to continue the calculation. So what to do next? Here is a math trick. Let's bring the integral back to the x world. You may ask, why do that? We just do the substitution to take it from the x world to the u world. Now you told me to take it back. Are you kidding me? Take it easy, guys. That's because the value of the integral is not decided by which world it's in, but the integrand and the interval of integration. So taking it to the x world will not change its value. In other words, they are equivalent. And it will be possible for us to do the math with the integral above. Let's keep watching and see how to do the math. Label these two integrals as 1 and 2, which are the same, and add these two integrals. So it's easy to get 2i equals the integral from 0 to pi over 2, e to the sine x plus e to the cosine x, all over e to the sine x plus e to the cosine x, dx. Great! Now you see that? It equals integral from 0 to pi over 2, 1 dx. For now, we have made a big progress because we know this integral equals pi over 2 minus 0, which equals pi over 2. So i equals pi over 4. And that's the right answer. If you like this video, share, like, and comment. If you're interested in solving math problems, please subscribe to this channel and follow my videos. See you next time. Peace out.